Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the series where the last thing we do is spend the cash. When it comes to the sniping, I'm the goddamn flash. I move so quick, I get whiplash. But my team started at the bottom, we called it trash, and now I'm at the top like Game 6 Clay Splash. Boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent Series. <laughs> If you want to buy cheap NBA 2K20 MT, hop on over to NBA2King.com and use code HTB for 5% off your order. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series, man. I know it's been a while since the last episode and a lot of you guys have been waiting patiently. Thank you for that. Some of you have been harassing me, but rightfully so. But in the last week, 2K has just released so much content that I've had a hard time keeping up with that and the No Money Spent series. I spent all of last weekend grinding to get that Galaxy Opal Harden and then we got more Galaxy Opals and more. And then yesterday, we ended up getting Galaxy Opal Minute Bowl galaxy opal caruso and a bunch of content so that's gonna be good for the no money spent series because there's a lot of cards that we seriously need to pick up but at the same time i have been playing on the no money spent account since last time i uploaded as you guys can see here i got myself a diamond kevin porter jr so even when i was not recording i was still doing my grind on the no money spent and i actually got a couple other things so let me quickly recap you on what's happened since all right so this started with me trying to get galaxy opal dan isle from the triple threat offline boards now i didn't manage to get him but we did get some gems along the way and the first thing was this 5000 mt so i was super happy there kept going in triple threat offline and again we get another prize i'm curious what it is it was 10 token so i'm like nah we gotta keep going some more played a couple more offline games and this was two games later 10 more tokens now eventually i was done with triple threat offline so now i started to pick up cavalier cards originally i wanted to go for the hawks but the thing is all the cards for cam reddish they were way too price fixed and kevin porter jr i heard was a very solid card i tried him out on my main account i liked him you can see right here i actually get a couple snipes ruby lebron we get a larry nance there for 750 mt so we're just kind of setting ourselves up to go into the spotlight challenges right here i put all my mt on there and stuff like that we prep and we eventually fast forward through the spotlight sims and five dreadful games later we do manage to come out on top the last game i'm not gonna lie actually did give me some difficulty since i didn't have my usual galaxy opal tmac and stuff like that but we did it man you can see we managed to beat all five games surprisingly didn't lose a single one and now we can finally introduce our diamond to our squad we collect the six tokens here that's nice and all but it was all about this man here in the end and welcome back ladies and gentlemen now we can actually continue with today's episode so yeah we did end up getting kevin porter jr and there is a bunch of new content that is out right now but first things first we gotta punch in all the locker codes that we've missed so this first code right now i believe came out on monday the name monday is in this pack so if these are packs that you guys didn't get the chance to punch in make sure you go ahead and do so but this should be a pretty big no money spent episode because it's been a week so there's a lot of content there's a lot of sniping that we need to do and there's just a lot of adjustments we need to make in our lineup and we still need to go to try to go 12 and 0 and there's a bunch of stuff we need to talk about but first that's the first locker code that i did punch in there sorry i didn't pause for a moment feel free to go back if you need to but uh this one gives you a kevin durant ben simmons or Dwayne wade prime series pack obviously i want the kevin durant or the ben simmons one because those are gonna be the highest value ones if we end up getting any of those opals that would be absolutely insane but uh yeah in the last week there has been a lot going on there's been a lot going on with the spotlight sims as we discussed earlier when they dropped that was super super fire even though there's more content that's now dropped recently that's kind of made a bunch of those cards irrelevant but that's what's good about waiting a long time there's a bunch of content for you to figure out your lineup we're still sitting on a good amount of empty and we landed on the ben simmons pack so that's a dub now this next pack here honestly is nothing too crazy but again when you're doing no money spent anything is better than nothing so if you guys haven't punched this one in as well make sure you go ahead and and do so so this one is going to be the spotlight sim new cards they dropped this locker code when they dropped some of the spotlight sim moments which i do need to take a look at later on there's a bunch of cards we need to look at again like i mentioned but this one's kind of a weird one you can either get a pack a base league pack which is a huge l or a thousand mt honestly i'd be down for that deluxe pack which it looks like we're actually gonna land on oh wait no that's the base league pack 
I had that backwards. Oh, that's tough. I mean, that's still better than nothing, but oh, uh, that's a yikes. But hey, have no fear because one more locker code is incoming for us right here. This one did drop yesterday. I'm super pumped for this one because this one actually looks like it's going to be fire. And that one is going to be the fan favorites Friday. If you guys haven't had a chance to punch that one in, go ahead and punch it in. This one is a fire one as well because I believe they're all deluxe packs. So you're guaranteed something unless you land on the flash pack, I guess. So I'm going to try to go to the right here because if we do land, hit some tokens on the way down as well. We've stocked up on tokens quite a bit, so we'll be able to get a player soon. It lands on the blue. That's a Frostbite Deluxe. That's not really bad, but the Leap Year has the Opals, and that's kind of what I'm wanting. But if I get a Pink Diamond Anthony Davis or Magic Johnson, I am not going to complain. Let's head over to the uh, pack market right here. And as you can see, we've got a couple packs. I've also got the Triple Threat ones I earned from uh, playing Triple Threat earlier when you guys saw me earn those rewards. I actually got super lucky lucky with those so i was actually very happy about that right here we're getting a bunch of contracts i'll take that don't care too much for the player or the jersey let's keep it rolling here we're gonna have a couple things to quick sell like shoes and stuff for all this i'm sure so in the end we're still gonna make mt two shoes right there injury cards are an l daniel tice maybe he sells for some mt on to the next one and this one's gonna be a spotlight isaiah thomas reward we got this one from triple threat online or locker code i honestly can't even remember but we get an adrian dantley i doubt he has very much value at this point I'll still throw him up on the auctions and see how much we can get out of him. This one is a guaranteed Western Conference player, and it's gold. So that's nothing too special. I've seen some people pull like Steph Curry and stuff out of these, so that is nuts. But I doubt we get that lucky. Let's see what we can get in the East. It's an Amethyst. See, that's not too bad. Now, if this was the beginning of the year, that would have been a huge dub. It looks like it's going to be a buck, and that can only be one person, baby. Giannis Antetokounmpo, we have gotten again from a pack. That's a huge dub if it was earlier in the year, man. But yeah, honestly, not too bad of a pack. That still should sell for some decent MT. Right here, we have a contract pack. Can't disagree with these because I need contracts all the time, especially when we're picking up all these new pink diamonds and stuff. You got to do it. We'll start with the base league pack and we'll work our way up to that Ben Simmons pack. If we get Ben Simmons out of the pack, I'm just going to say we're going to be set for the rest of the no money spent season, man, because that's going to be some crazy heat. Let's get at least a diamond out of this bad boy. It's looking like an emerald or a ruby. It's a ruby D'Angelo Russell. We've gotten ruby D'Angelo Russell every single time we've opened a frostbite pack. All right, now it's time for the big boy. Ben Simmons, can you bring home a galaxy opal for us today? It could be Ben Simmons or Allen Iverson. It's not looking like a player just yet. That's going to be the player. That's very unfortunate. And another player there in Malcolm Brogdon. You can always hope though, but I was not really expecting a Galaxy Opal nonetheless. Uh, locker codes, there should be one to hit right here. And as you can see, you can pick one out of the new players that did drop yesterday. We're going to go ahead and go with Bol Bol. The boy Bol Bol is new to my team, so why not? Three easy tokens. We're now sitting at 40. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly sell all my shoes here and see how much MT we end up at, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so not too bad there. We made 4K MT from quick selling shoes alone. I think that's a big dub right there. I'm going to sell some of these jerseys, but not all of them because I might actually want to keep some of them to put on my team. I'll sell a couple of those, but now it's on to start talking about serious things, man. In the last couple days, 2K has dropped a lot of content. We're actually going to hit the auction outcomes here super quick as well because these are some stuff that I did have to quick sell you guys can see that the paul pierce ended up selling for 10k nothing too crazy gerald wallace sold for a solid price so i'm happy with that grayson allen and once again paul pierce we are now sitting at a grand total of 188,000. although we are gonna have some more i'll discuss that in just a little bit but in the last couple days a lot of stuff has dropped in the league series 2 there is these moments cards i'll take a look at them i doubt i pick up any of them but uh the main players that did drop are from the fan favorites in these prime series packs though there is a Mike Conley. There is a budget Marvin Bagley who we will take a look at. There's Alonzo Mourning. Kevin Durant, unfortunately, is still expensive. But if we can snipe one, I would love to have it. But it's the fan favorites right here that are the big money, man. There's Brian Scalabrini. There's Manute Bull. There's Bojan Marjanovic. All these cards are buy nows. And there's the best budget card in the game right now who I think is uh, Amethyst Isaac Bonga right here. 
this card is freaking insane and i would love to have any of these cards so we've got a lot of content to go through there is also the spotlight challenges which again i did discuss although i don't think i'm gonna go for any more of the cards because any other positions i need to fill these cards won't necessarily be able to fill it because a lot of the cheap cards i can now buy are gonna be a lot better than a lot of these spotlight cards now that doesn't mean that if you grinded for a lot of these spotlight cards that is an l because you can still keep going and you can get yourself james harden the only reason i'm not grinding till james harden is because i already did that on my main account and that was way too much of a headache but uh we're gonna be replacing a couple players here you can see that i took off my boy pete maravich and i think i'm actually gonna add him back right here just for the height and we're gonna sell john wall since we've got an athletic kevin porter jr right there lonzo ball is also gonna be hitting the auction house because i'm gonna go ahead and pick up that new isaac bonga one laker for another i think that's only fair uh tom chambers or rudy game might have to go and lamarcus aldridge is also definitely gone this episode there's a lot of people that we're going to be selling back after we pick up some new players but uh let me start off by putting my point guards in the auction house it kind of hurts to get rid of john wall because i know john wall is an elite point guard but with all the cards that are out right now man you got to just sell things while they, while they got value because all these things are only going to drop in value michael ray richardson i love you but when we get isaac bonga i'm not going to need you and one person I'm going to sell off the bat because I know I'm not going to keep is Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay is a nice card, don't get me wrong. But man, does he feel slow on the court. Just kind of got tired of that. I'll put them all up for 500. Hopefully they sell for a decent value. That is always the goal, but uh, we'll see what happens here. All right, so yeah, like we discussed, man, there is a lot of cards to pick up today. I'm not even really sure where to start, so I'll start with a simple one, and that's going to be the Amethyst Isaac Bonga. I doubt he goes for much MT, but who knows, man. A lot of people were opening packs, me, myself included, and I didn't pull many of them, so I'm going to keep going down in MT here until we can get something nice. It looks like he's continuously dropping. Maybe we can catch ourselves a snipe here in the moment. It looks like we're near the four-hour mark. Something nice going to pop up. All right, I'll sit on the filter here for a little bit. There's one for 59.50 which means one should pop up in the next bit 5k mt give me that oh my god the auction house is so slow right now why is it doing this sit on that give me that please everything's so slow another user bought the auction bro the auction house is frozen there's way too many people in the auction house right now that's a card we've already seen this is gonna be a problem guys oh uh, man show me something i don't have not 5900 I wanted those cheap cards. Those ones were dubs. And it looks like we're going to sit on this for a little bit. Because now that I know I can get one for cheaper, I want to just get it for cheaper. Although 5900 isn't really something to worry much about. So I think I'll just pick them up. I'd rather stress out over... Okay, of course. You definitely hate to see it, man. That's 5600. And we miss it again. All right, I can see everybody is hopping on the bonga train. So if you guys could just get off and I get one for 5550 we can have ourselves a nice day the controller is reacting super slow today i got a feeling we're gonna miss a couple snipes man all right so up next is gonna be this man right here this card is one of the craziest diamond cards in the game right now and that's diamond bobon we're gonna find out how much he's going for and then we he's a must cop card i'll show you guys the stats here in just a second and you're gonna see why you absolutely need him on your team 15 7 just get it oh my god the auction house is so slow oh that's so disappointing but anyways what i'm trying to say here is bobon is a must cop card not only is he a 7-3 center and although he's got some weird stats when it comes to the driving layup in post game that's sus but he's got an 87 three-pointer standing at 7-3 he's got a mid-range he's got a free throw he can dunk his interior defense is amazing he can rebound he may not be the fastest but the man covers a lot of ground i think he would be a great replacement for lamarcus aldridge and that's kind of why i want him i'm trying to snipe on boban bo 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 boban give me a boban that's 20k honestly that's better than nothing i don't want to sit too much on a filter that's really under 25k because sure i might snipe it but i know this card's gonna be worth it we got isaac bonga and our boy boban but uh, i want to look at more cards here one card i do want to look at is a pink diamond and he goes by the name of scala Brini. this is the main reason i want to sell rudy gay because this card actually looks like a bucket oh my scally is going for quite a bit of mt the cheapest one i'm seeing apparently is deep in the 50ks man 
And his stats are honestly pretty good. Does he have Hall of Fame clamps? I know he has Hall of Fame range extender and Hall of Fame clamps. Yeah, we need this card on the team. So quick interruption. As I was actually looking through the cards, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's more cards that we did miss out on. And I was right. The Campus Legends that also did drop last week, Friday, but expired yesterday on Friday as well. There is gems like Ralph Sampson in here. There's a Jimmer Fredette who I don't really care about. But there is a power forward in a man named Danny Manning. So although we might not be able to get Scalabrini, I promise you this card is going to get the job done just fine. And he's going for a very cheap price. So I'm going to see if I can get him for a cheap price there as well. I'm so glad I remembered that last second because if I spent over 30k on that Scalabrini just for this Danny Manning to do the exact same thing, I would be pretty upset. But uh, let's see how much this guy's going for. A lot of people are sleeping on this card too. And he's got a very nice release. So if we can get him for a good price here, he is definitely joining the squad. And he's going for only 77 700 MT. I honestly can't argue with that. Welcome to the squad almost. It looks like people are on all the filters that I want to be on today. You guys are all jerks. 7400 though sounds way better to me anyways, so I'll take it. The last card I would like to price check that a lot of people are going to hate me for is going to be Manute Bull. I need me some tall bigs that are sharpshooters. I'm either going to pick up Manute Bull or Ralph Sampson depending on how expensive that card is, but I know Manute Bull is going to be going for some coins, so unless we're able to to really snipe this man i doubt he's gonna be joining the team today but again seven foot seven that would be amazing for people that are using ben simmons and stuff because that rim protection would be on lock yeah to be honest this filter is not really looking like it's worth it there's a minute bowl literally going up every single minute hello all right, so Manu Bowl is just not happening right now. I am going to add these guys to the collection right away and then figure out where my lineup is at quickly before we continue to buy slash snipe some stuff. But uh, we know Isaac Bonga definitely has this spot here on lock. Amethyst Caruso, you're going to have to go now. There's a Galaxy Opal out there. Your services are no longer needed. Danny Manning, I heard you're a god. I'm actually going to start you over Tom Chambers, and I think we're going to sell Tom Chambers. I know he's got the badges, and he's got a diamond contract, though, so I don't want to get rid of him right away lamarcus aldridge it is your time to go i prefer elgoskis over him even though i got two very slow centers we've got shaquille o'neal if anything goes wrong and i think what i'm actually gonna do is probably sell elgoskis and since Manute bowl is going for a lot of mt i'm either gonna pick up ralph sampson or greg odin because those are still two very solid centers and if we run into anyone super tall we have bobon anyways i almost forgot the other episode where we bought this havlicek and we never used them this kind of feels like an L and I wish I sold him while I was grinding my spotlight sims off camera We're gonna go ahead and get rid of him right now because that just kind of hit me now I was always like, you know what? I see him there, but I wasn't paying attention to it now I'm kind of heavily regretting that you need to go ASAP Okay, so I just finished doing a mass cleanup of my collection and there's so many cards that I should have been selling by now That I haven't like this Carl Malone. He's been sitting in there as well He's got to go Lance Stevenson was a budget gem, but he's got to go as well We should be getting quite a bit of MT for all this if I'm ever having problems where I'm hoarding cards guys just remind me because I have that tendency because of what I always do on my main account and that's collect the actual cards so if I ever do that a lot guys just call me out in the comment section and that way I will know for next episode but yeah right now we are mass selling everything I don't know who I really want to snipe because to be honest when I look at my team right now it is very very solid like the only person I really could replace if anything is going to be a Goskis, Tom Chambers, and maybe Paul Pierce, maybe Jimmy Butler too, but there isn't really any crazy shooting guards that have dropped recently. There is the Pink Diamond Tyler Hero, but I like Jimmy Butler because he's got the contract, and he's got Hall of Fame clamps, and he's got a nice jumper anyways, so I'm not really in a rush to get rid of him ASAP. My starting lineup is pretty solidified. We've got new cards in Danny Manning and Boban. Igudala proved to be an absolute gem. This Kevin Porter, I'm liking him. I did try him for one game when I was doing the Triple Threat Challenge and he's an absolute bucket the bench might need a little bit of adjusting and I think the only person that maybe has to go is gonna be this Tom Chambers but uh one thing I haven't had the chance to look at is someone said that this Kevin Knox is also a nice card and he can play the power forward position now I only have one problem with this card sure his stats are nice he's got a decent amount of Hall of Fame badges including clamps and quick first step but the problem with Kevin Knox is he does not come with range extender whatsoever so that kind of pushed me away from this card and then I went over to look at this Jabari Parker and I was like wait a minute this man is going for an affordable price and he's got 20 
four Hall of Fame badges. He's got a driving layup. You can see a lot of the stats. They might look like they're on Chambers' side, but Jabari Parker has stuff such as Hall of Fame quick draw and he has more badges as far as gold and hall of fame combined so then i started thinking maybe this is a card to pick up i've heard a lot of people talking about him he comes with gold clamps he also has gold range extender which is a good look so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give this jabari parker a chance okay so not bad 14k -ish mt this one is 14k and it has eight contracts on it but the thing is he's been 14k for a while like there's an hour left and he's still not ending so what i'm gonna try to do is is land this one for 1250 and if we can win this one that's a dub because we low-key sniped it for 2k cheaper than all the other ones all right so while we wait to see if we do end up winning that i do want to check the price of this greg odin and then i want to check out ralph samson a lot of people are saying greg odin is the better card and i can see why people would definitely say that but i play so good with ralph samson and greg odin is also more expensive this one does have 22 contracts on it i doubt many people are going to be throwing up snipes for this card but We'll sit on this filter for a little bit and see what happens. So while I'm here sniping guys, something does come to mind. And I was thinking about when I did the Galaxy Opal Dirk gameplay. And you guys were harassing me saying I need to get him on the No Money Spent episode. I will get Galaxy Opal Dirk. I promise you guys, this man will eventually make the lineup. But in 2K19, he was going for like what, 40k? And I'm pretty sure we sniped him for like 20k. So it made things a lot easier. Right now he's going for a lot of MT. When he eventually drops down in price a bit more, I will get him. Right now it's not really practical for me to get him on the no money spent because we're just gonna be broke and then still have galaxy opal dirk which i mean he is king dirk so you gotta do stuff like that but uh we gotta be a little bit smart with our mt here guys otherwise it's gonna be ggs oh my god wait oh no oh my oh my freaking god oh my freaking god i sat on this for over 20 minutes i see that and i missed it 31 contracts oh my god Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, yeah guys, I'm not gonna lie, that almost made me want to punch something. I was sitting on that patiently for a while, and we ended up getting outbid on Jabari Parker too, so... We're taking a couple L's there. Oh my god. So I don't know why nobody is dropping a cheaper Jabari. As I say that, one pops up, and we land it. I mean, okay. <laughs> That kind of works out. I mean, thank you, Luck. I would have much rather had Greg Odin than this one. Plus, this one only has three contracts. Greg Odin had, what, 31 or something? Oh, I don't know what to do. I think I'll put Jabari Parker here. And I'm going to try one more time to get Scalabrini. If we end up missing one more snipe, I am literally giving up. I'm telling you guys right now, if I try to snipe right now and we go for a while and I miss out on a good snipe, it's GG's. People are price fixing this Scalabrini so hard. There's some that ended 55k that no one's buying. And then there's these ones that are being reposted at 54k. So getting a snipe is going to be a little bit tough, I feel like. I feel like a lot of people are waiting to catch a window to land one for cheap. And I'm not going to be the one to miss one. So let's sit on this filter for a while and see what happens. Oh my god! Get it, get it, get it! No, it's stuck! No! We got a snipe! We got it! Do you see how slow I went? Oh my goodness! Let's go! Let's go! That moved so slow. I don't even know how we managed to get that snipe, if I'm being honest. My lord! 50k, that's not really a snipe, because look, he's being... He's dropping like crazy. There's a bunch of snipes being thrown up right now. I'm gonna sit on this filter for a little bit. If no one's buying him at that 50k... There could be more snipes. All right, so some people are buying him. I need someone to buy him and get him off my filter here. I'm trying to get some more snipes here, boys. You know the vibes. Come on now. Let's keep it going here. Oh my... No! Oh! The snipe god is back. Henry the Blasian, the snipe god is back. Not one, but two Scalabrinis within two minutes, not even a minute of each other. One has a diamond contract, and we're still refreshing like crazy. Somebody is throwing up Scalabrinis, and I'm here for it, man. Let's not miss anymore. I'm going to sit on this for a couple more minutes, and if nothing pops up, I won't. But right now, this filter is hot. I find it super funny that as soon as we started sniping, he just started to gradually drop in price. Like, everyone was posting one for cheaper over and over. See, now there's one for 52k. That one's probably gone as soon as I refresh. Oh my! Wait! Oh, that's from before! I almost had a heart attack! <laughs> oh! yo all right so i've been refreshing like the last five minutes and there's no scalabrinis popping up they were popping up there for a good six minutes straight 
and now there's none like no one's even posting any for 51 52 or even 50k anymore i'm gonna be happy with my winnings we got one regular and we got one with a diamond contract i know they were in the 20k range i think this one was what 26k i don't even remember i know this one was 28k because we ended up seeing it again you are definitely joining the team you're getting resold and we are making mt off that instantly bro instantly that was my best like back-to-back -back snipe in a long time i'm putting this man up for 51k and he better be gone with a quickness because i was sitting on the filter and no one was buying him so if no one buys him right away we should be making at the very least 20k off that which should make up for a free boban marjanovic man that is such a dub i gotta double check that no one's undercutting me all right yeah so there's none for 52k so mine should sell right away i'm surprised it hasn't sold yet hey scalabrini finally sold so i actually just got a comment on twitter and someone was saying htb i don't know if you have but you should look into diamond tim hardaway jr who is from the spotlight sim and apparently this guy would be a great replacement for jimmy butler now i can't look at the actual comparison to jimmy butler directly but apparently this guy's stats are amazing he's got hall of fame range hall of fame clamps flexible release and just 26 hall of fame badges in general which you, you guys know what that means man it's time to try sniping some more and one thing i actually might end up having to do here is getting rid of jabari parker there 12 9 50 hopefully he sells right away and then we'll like break even on that one but yeah apparently this tim hardaway jr is a bucket and i didn't even realize about this card until i was browsing through twitter as i was looking for snipes earlier but uh yeah let's see what we can get going here because apparently he's a pretty affordable price 16k look at how long my thing is taking to load i have a feeling we're not going to be able to snipe any cards but it looks like he's going for quite a bit of mt i can't really find a good middle ground man my refresh is taking a while that's actually kind of making me nervous but we'll try it here anyways yeah he's going for quite a bit of mt for a diamond card i don't know if this is the move guys i really want him but that's just a lot of mt in general uh refresh again wait 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 why was there one with a diamond contract there oh crap i didn't even see the one for 25k i'm not gonna lie i saw the diamond contract and i honed in on that one i mean you save 2k if you buy this one but with a diamond contract i can play more than 2k worth of games no pun intended how much is jimmy butler going for though because if we can sell him for more than we bought tim hardaway for then that's a dub let's go ahead and adjust our line we wait we replace two diamond contracts with two more diamond contracts. If we keep Jimmy and sell Paul Pierce, our team might actually look better. Let me compare the two. Um, So on paper, Paul Pierce is definitely better on offense, but Jimmy Butler is definitely the better defensive player and he's also six foot eight, but Paul Pierce has 23 Hall of Fame badges. Jimmy has 14 uh tough call but i think we're actually gonna keep jimmy and sell paul pierce i need some more height since jimmy was 6'8 at the shooting guard position i want to be able to not have to spend on contracts so three players with diamond contracts like that i think is a dub scally bro oh my goodness i can't wait to test this card out i hope he's a bucket i'm yet to use him on my main account so that's kind of what worries me but he's got hall of fame quick draw and range extender and clamps so he can't be that bad and this tim hardaway jr looks like a bucket i'm definitely gonna try a couple of these cards out in freestyle and see if they are indeed a walking dub there's already a 1000 bit on rudy gay we should have a bit of mt by next episode but i think i'm gonna slow down on the spending now because that's a lot of mt that we've spent today and we have changed up our lineup a lot man this sim was what i was using when i was grinding for um what's his name kevin porter jr so these are all cavalier cards that i need to sell asap there's no other spotlight sim cards that i really want to go for that can replace anyone on this squad i'm gonna quickly hop into freestyle i think oh tom chambers that's the other person i need to sell i'll throw ben simmons in there hopefully he sells for a decent amount too but look at how many cards we got in the auction house man we're gonna have a stupid amount of mt to redeem by next episode my throat is already hurting from all the yelling i did from that scally sniping but yeah this is what the squad's looking like man i think i like it a lot 
I might have to start Tim Hardaway here because he has more badges and Kevin Porter can be athletic with Isaac Bonga off the bench but I'm going to quickly hop into freestyle and check out Tim Hardaway, Brian Scalabrini and Boban's jumper and then we're going to hop into a game because right now I believe we are currently 3-0 and and we don't have much time left to get that James Worthy so we got to make a run. Alright so Scally's hot zone is the whole court that's a big dub that jumper is looking really fast I actually like that let me actually green it oh that's a beautiful jumper for someone at the four that's gonna be a big dub I don't want to walk into any surprises of any jumpers because we're trying to go 12 and 0 so I want to be familiar with most of these jumpers before we go into a game so that Scally one is nice quick look at Danny Manning for those of you that are wondering you can see he's got a dub of a jumper as well he's gonna be coming off the bench and he's gonna be a killer this card plays a lot like a Giannis with a jump shot he dunks he defends he rebounds he does it all then we got Boban oh my that's kind of an ugly jumper oh that's a yikes this jumper is a yikes I mean it's green right there but oh that's gonna take some getting used to I'm a little bit worried about this I can see why he might go down in price after this and then the one person I was wanting to check out here Tim Hardaway jr. who's got a money jumper oh wow I can see why this card's actually going for a bit of MT. He almost has 30 Hall of Fame badges, and he's a diamond card. Guys, don't look at the wrappers of cards when you try to buy cards. I guarantee you, this card is going to be better than Jimmy Butler, and he's going for less MT, and he has more Hall of Fame badges, but people think Jimmy Butler's a pink diamond, so they're sticking to him. Look at this. Oh, that's wet. All right, I'm ready to go into a game. Yeah, so speaking of going into a game, the best part about us going into a game is my Elgato decided to not work when I was searching and entering a game. Now, the worst part of it all is we still lost because I ran into Galaxy Opal Magic, Galaxy Opal T-Mac, Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant, Galaxy Opal Bull Bull, and Galaxy Opal Taco Fall. Let's just say I'm glad you guys didn't see that rage. Yeah, so uh, guys, I'm sure by now you know my Elgato did not record. What ended up happening is I matched up against Galaxy Opal Magic, T-Mac, Durant, Bull Bull, and Taco, and I'm sure you guys know the outcome of that game with the team that I have. Yes, we did indeed lose. I raged a lot, and I'm actually kind of glad none of that was on camera because I was screaming. I chucked my controller. I was pissed off because we just cannot seem to streak without running into a God Squad. Every time I'm recording gameplays on my main account with my God Squad, I run into accounts that are like my budget account. So I really don't understand why the matchmaking is so broken in this game but uh it's looking like we're gonna have to start from the beginning now what we're gonna do is i'm probably gonna play a game hopefully we win it and then off camera i'm gonna do my best to try to go 11 and 0 and then we can um go ahead and do a video of the very final game to get james worthy but uh yeah we're back to being zero and zero we were just three and oh unless we fly through a bunch of games we're only gonna be able to play one game today this episode was going so good too we got a bunch of snipes one thing i will mention about that game that i played is bobon does not look like like the best center i'm gonna try to debut him in this game as well but he's a little bit sketchy and very very slow i might have to sell him and try to snipe someone like manute bull who even though is slow is way taller all right and our matchup is looking like pete maravich cam reddish danny manning aldridge and thon maker so this is a team we should be able to handle if we're lagging though that's game boys all right boys and girls starting oh and oh again i'm not really in the best mood but uh let's get this dub boys go to the basket bobon why are you so slow sometimes nice dunk there to start the game but he really moves slower than his speed should like look at that the man is in slow motion all right so this guy's not even playing around he hit me with a five out right away i got my own kind of plays no worries catch and shoot this tim hardaway though this card is a dub i'm so glad i picked him up i'm liking him a lot all right, this five-out offense is getting annoying when nobody is playing tight on their players. Get in the post here. Get in the post. Bobon, do something. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Good defense. Bonga, hands up. There we go. Stay on your man. Good contest. Let's get the rebounds. Thank you, Bobon. Stupid five-outer. Hold this. We blow him by. Uh, let's go to the rim. Scally, I trust you. That was a fail. That was a fail. Game is playing like trash. I'm not in the mood for 2K today. Gonna be honest. I see you, Scally. Pump fake. Blow by to the rim. Gotta draw some kind of foul, but we get the layup. 
Give me that. Thank you. Steal it. Why is this game so slow today? Thank you. Oh, my Lord. I'm getting so pissed for no reason. Hop into it. Easy layup right there, man. Good defense there, squad. No way Aldridge is hitting from that deep. Get that rebound, and let's get going here. Kevin Porter, I know you're a nice card. That's all behind the back. Jimmy, I see you. Stop and pop. Not a green, but it's a bucket. Let's go. I can barely read what the score of the game is. Kevin Porter, catch and shoot a little bit early there. It's going down, though. Can you guys see how slow the game is moving, though? I hope it's not just me, because this is bad. This feels just like the auction house earlier, man. Everything just feels so delayed. I thought I was going to go back court there. So look at that leg. Like, hello? Ilgoskis, I need you big time. Green bean. Get in the poster. Get in the post. I'm seeing Big Z. Big Z, get in the post. Back to pistol. Pete, catch and shoot. Green bean. Let's go. That's a steal. Thank you. Now let's keep it going. I see you, Danny Manning. He's going to try to reach, but alley-oop. I know you got that. You guys can see we're lagging. Yeah, I'm definitely only playing one game today, and then I'm just going to try to go 11-0 and 0 off camera. This right now is just way too frustrating, man. There's Kevin Porter. Let's get dancing, man. As long as we can move decent speeds. There we go. Nice little blow by all the way to the rim. Nah, I'm going to my boy Iggy. Catch and shoot. Green bean. Big Z is a dub. I don't think I'm ever going to sell this card. That Boban card, though, I don't know if I like him. Nice steal right there. Let's keep it going. Bait that. Thank you. Saw that from a mile away, you bum. All the way to Danny Manning. Take it all the way and put it down in transition. On the bright side, we've got the lead. So that's a nice look. Let's go all the way around to my boy Big Z, who's cutting. Pump fake and easy layup right there. Let's go, man. Let's go right to Kevin Porter. Nice little crossover. Oh, I'm going all the way to the rim there. Easy dunk, baby. He misses the shot. There we go. Every time he misses, we got to be scoring. We got to take advantage of this stupid five out there we go i'm too open kevin porter give me those all you can do is five out you're getting boxed simple as that i got everyone on my squad with clamps you're not going anywhere stay right there terrence ross stay right there that's not the bro this game oh this game where are we going here i see big z open he's off balling it we get the shot off green bean hold that all right let's go man nice little pick and fade here big z hold that we going all the way psych big z green bean this man has knocked down every three tonight you love it, man. Come on, man. Let's keep it going. I can't read the scoreboard. I know I'm winning, though, and that's all that matters. Let's go all the way. And one pistol. Pete, man. All right. Let's go ahead and convert that free throw. We've got a solid lead. I'm going to get the starters back in here. Pistol Pete's tired. I need Bonga to do work, man. Tim Hardaway, swing it. Pump fake. Oh, he's jumping at that. All the way. Iggy. As delayed as we are, at least our shots are going down. Look at that. It just starts randomly skipping for no reason. Catch and shoot. Tim Hardaway Jr. Green bean, baby. Keep pushing the pace. Boban, get down the court. Let me go to Iggy first, actually. There we go. And then go to Boban. This is going to be a heavy mismatch. Whoever's on us, ask GG's. Get in there. Get in there. He's not going to be able to stop us. Easy hooks. Easy buckets. Bait. Saw that from a mile away, you bum. Let's keep it going. You want a five out? Hold this. Let's keep hitting him with a sauce play. If the sauce play keeps working, there's no reason to turn it down. Go get open, buddy. Catch and shoot Tim Hardaway, the green machine, man. The only card I'm not liking right now while I'm delayed is this Isaac Bonga. Oh, my Lord. The delay is so bad. If we don't score this quarter, I'm going to be pissed. Hit that screen. I'm going right around that screen. Bonga, it's your time. Green bean. Get in the post. He's jumping. He's going to jump again. Wait for the other jump. There we go. We draw the foul. Oh, thank goodness. I'd rather be at the free throw line than shoot open shots right now because everything is mad delayed. First one is a green. We get super lucky there. It's only a seven-point game, and now eight-point game. We got to be careful. All right, so I had to bring the bench in because the boy, Boban, does not play any, and I mean any pick-and-roll defense. Makes it kind of tough. Oh, Ben Simmons, new card. Hop all the way. Easy layup right there. Let's go. I need a big body right now. All right, let's close this game out with one shot or one dunk by Ben Simmons, who barely caught that there. Oh, my goodness. Uh, quick drop step. Easy bucket. Nice finesse. Get that. That's a steal. Thank you. Now all the way with Ben and not putting it down, but I do get the layup. I'm here for all the sweat. Give that to me. Look at that. Ben Simmons. He just came in and scored eight straight points. Bait that. Thank you. I'm baiting everything. This man's done for. Yeah, Ben Simmons. Might as well continue your streak here, buddy. Putting it down with some leg and one. And just like that, a 16 to 8 run in the fourth quarter gets this five outing bum off my court. Thank goodness we got the dub. I am done with games for today. All right, so we're 1 0. That's a little bit relieving. That is definitely nice to see again. I'm going to do my best, guys, to win the next 10 games. And then hopefully by next episode, it's a 12 and 0 game. But we're going to have to do it pretty soon because March is going to be over in what, like three, four days? So it's going to be GG's for this game worthy pretty soon if we don't land him.
But to be honest, playing with a budget squad is very difficult. Uh, Scalabrini, I don't mind you. Everyone that was playing today, though, felt slower than they were. I know he's not that... Okay, he's actually kind of slow. Never mind. So, we can't have this combo right here. This combo is not a healthy combo because both of them are absolute slow pokes. For now, I'm deciding to start Ilgoskis because that man was more consistent for me. And he was an absolute sharpshooter. Boban is nice, although I think I'm going to sell him. And then when all our things sell from our auction house, I'm going to try to pick up a better big like greg odin or something how has greg odin gone up 5k mt since our last game that literally does not make any sense what is wrong with the auction house today bro ralph sampson went up to 47k mt i don't know how to explain how but that's kind of ass i kind of wish i bought all these cards when i was sniping earlier what changed in the last couple hours that they had to go up this much in mt bro there is one card i want to look at super quickly that someone did suggest to me and his name is marvin bagley the third he is only an amethyst card but i've heard he's actually a budget beast so if he's going for the right price oh my god that's a bid buy him that's the cheapest one i see that's the one i'm taking he's got 15 hall of fame badges and he might be a nice card all right so let me compare this man to bobon real quick he's only 6 11 yes but look at his stats man he's even got a three pointer he's got a driving dunk he's got a free throw he's got a block and he is fast look at that 86 speed now the only con is that he's not very strong so he's probably gonna get dogged in the post but that's what we've got elgoskis and, elgoskis and stuff for so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put him right where Shaq is yeah that looks a little bit better and then i'm actually gonna start him for next episode he's more our athletic center now that Shaq used to be our athletic one we've now got bagley but this is the squad right now isaac bonga is not bad but i'm still gonna choose pete maravich as my starter he plays better for me and i'm not really used to this bonga yet i kind of just feel like he doesn't move as quick as his stats actually show like i know he's got 92 speed down the line but he really does not feel like it at the moment again it's most likely the lagging servers i'm just glad we won that game that we wanted to play but uh this is gonna be the end of the episode 2k is driving me crazy with the delay today next episode we're gonna have a ton of mt from all the stuff we sold so be on the lookout for that i want to thank you guys for watching once again i appreciate all the support on the channel i hope you all have an awesome day and take care